Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video tour. Today we're taking a look at a brand new 2024 Mobile Suites 39 DB RS Luxury Fifth Wall. We're gonna take a few minutes, I'll walk you through the inside and outside of this beautiful RV and show you what this thing is all about. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are now up inside the brand new 2024 Mobile Suite 39 DBRS Luxury Fifth Wall. And this unit had the Elite package ordered on it, which does put a few extra upgrades on the RV. I'll put that stuff down in the description. So depending on if you're looking for a Mobile Suite or an Elite version, you may or may not get a few of the same things. But the basic floor plan stays the same, so let's get started back here in the back section. So back here, this one was ordered with one of their three furniture options. You do have a sofa back here that'll flip out, make into a big bed, so you could sleep a couple extra guests back here. There is a little bit of end table action going on on each side. The one on the left has a wireless charging station there. There is a electric outlet down on the side of each area there. You have nice size windows back here. They do open up. They are tented dual pane safety glass windows throughout the RV. Up above, you have quite a bit of extra storage up high there. And just kind of looking down our roof line, you can see there's Whisper Quiet AC return vents, one on each side there. This unit was ordered with three ACs, and you'll see three sets of those as we go throughout the RV. You also have your ceiling fan up there, and then you also have a soft touch padded ceiling, where most of them are just traditional wood uh, ceiling boards. Here they use that soft touch padded ceiling, which also acts as a little bit of a sound deadener to kind of help just keep the RV a little better insulated and quieter. Over here, you're going to have your electric fireplace, which is basically a fancy electric space heater. You have a pull-out drawer above that and some storage on each side of that as well. You do have your Insignia Smart TV right here, and there's a sound bar right there as well. Now this TV will actually open up and you have some hidden storage back in behind there. That's a pretty cool feature. Now up top here, you have storage on the right side, but then you also have your subwoofer, some controls for the TV antenna stuff, and you also have that uh, Blu-ray player there as well. Soft clothes cabinet doors and drawers. You'll also notice the nice raised panel as well. Now, back to some of the woodworking. This one is one of your wood choices. Um, they do offer a couple other wood choices as well. You can see those kind of popping up in the pictures. Um, this customer ordered theirs a couple months back and kind of picked and choosed from the options that they wanted but talk with your dealer and they can kind of go over all the individual options and stuff with you as well. Now, flooring wise, there are two different floors available. You'll notice there are actual heat ducts in the uh, plywood flooring and stuff down here instead of coming out the cabinets. This unit is really built to be more of a full-time rated RV. So they actually run a couple dual six inch heat ducts down the outer parts of each side of the frame and really to try to heat the underbelly a lot better than just a single duct going down the middle, popping out some cabinets. So yes, you could get a little dirt and stuff down in there. It takes two screws to you know, kind of sweep them out every now and then, but it's really meant more for that full-time longevity of trying to keep that whole underbelly and all your water lines and everything safe in colder weather. Um, you know, they could cheapen out and just do one duck down the middle like most of the other brands. But again, they are trying to build this for you to live in if you wanted to and not just an extended stay or weekend type of camper. 
You'll also see there's a little bit of carpet on the slide floor and on you know, the edging right around where the slide comes in and stuff. They feel that the carpet is a little bit better insulator factor instead of just a linoleum on top of there. Uh, also, when it comes in and out, it helps protect the uh, flooring. This flooring here in the main subfloor is individual planks. It's not just a cheap linoleum laid down one sheet of linoleum. So it is a little bit fancier, a little bit more expensive style. And they're just trying to make sure again that everything is protected better, insulated better, um, and you know, just a little bit easier for you for the RV maintenance. You'll see throughout different parts of the RV, you know, there's some little in-command touch centers and stuff to go through some of the different lighting and stuff. This was the Elite package, so it was ordered with these power shades. Now, when they do the power shades, it's just the nightshade part that's power. The day shade is still manual. You have power theater seat over there, which has some storage and cup holders in the middle, USB charger port in each arm. Nice big windows over there again. Look at all that extra storage up above the windows where a lot of brands don't have any storage in their slide outs like that. Over here at your dining area, you have two traditional RV chairs. That table will extend out. Uh, you have storage around that table as well. There's a couple pull-out drawers and some uh, cabinetry under there. Electric outlet, USB charger port on the right there, electric outlet on the left of the window over there. Just a really beautiful look. Nice tall ceilings, nice tall slide outs as well. Love the side of that island right there. Now, another thing that changed up a little bit when you order that Elite package is you go to a quartz countertop. Um, so the countertop is a little bit different in this one compared to the traditional mobile suite. Over here, you're gonna have three drawers down below that pull out, and then you have kind of a pantry area there, which one area does have an electric outlet in it, and then you have some little slide out drawers there, or shelves there. Up above, you have your Insignia convection microwave, so you can cook or microwave. Some storage above and below as well, or beside. Really beautiful backsplash, look at that. You do have the four burner cooktop by Insignia as well. Some storage and drawer space down there and just a huge oven as well. Over here, you're gonna have the Insignia refrigerator. Has the freezer on bottom with an ice maker, refrigerator part on top, and then some storage up above. Now up here is a turbo exhaust fan. They did put a nice fancy cover over it there just to kind of make it look a little nicer, but it is one of those turbo exhaust fans. High rise spring sprayer faucet there. You have the undermount sink as well. There are wood cutting boards or wood uh, boards that there's two of them that kind of go over there to give you more counter space. You can use them as cutting boards or whatever. This was ordered with the pull-out uh, dishwasher as well. And then you also have quite a bit of storage underneath the sink, under the dishwasher, and you have a pull-out trash can and extra drawer over there as well. Now up here in the front section, this is kind of similar to the rear kitchen version that I videoed a little while back ago. You might check out that version as well. Um, so you're gonna have your little half bath here and in your bedroom and in your master bath up front. But right here, we do have this customer ordered it with the washer dryer. I like the little piano hinge folding door here as well. Just kind of giving you a little more uh, functionality there to get in and out of this bathroom. But was ordered with the stackable washer dryer. You don't have to get that if you don't want it. It is an option. And you have some storage up above there as well. Over here, you're gonna have a window. There's also another large turbo exhaust fan up there. AC duct in here. 
And then you have your little medicine cabinet area there. Again, beautiful solid surface countertop section right here and some storage down below here as well with another one of those little uh, piano hinge kind of folding doors there. You have the porcelain foot flush toilet with the nicer, heavier duty lid instead of the cheap plastic stuff. Some controls over here on the wall. Nice little uh, decorative clock there. Even has the little DRV logo in it as well. These little things here are temperature sensors for your AC system. Look at how nicely finished off even the door framework and stuff is there. Just below that bottom step is your propane leak detector. You got a return vent set up there, a little motion light there, grab handle. This also has the Wi-Fi uh, gateway connect by WineGuard right there. So you can subscribe to like Verizon Wireless or AT&T or somebody's uh, internet package. There's a little card I think it is that you put in there and you can kind of pay for wireless internet wherever you go or well, wherever they have service, I guess you'd say. Right down here is gonna be some of your controls. So this one had the in command center controls right here. Um, so it kind of tells you like your water pump, battery condition, some lights, different things right there. Uh, let's go back in here. We got awning controls, slide controls, ceiling fan, uh, all of your AC controls. This was also uh, ordered with a heat pump on it as well. So a few different things all in this brain box here of the in-command center. Uh, front cap light switch, the on-demand water heater controls right here, uh, one of the turbo exhaust fan controls, tank levels, and you have some stuff over here for your charge or your uh, electric system as well. This customer also ordered it, I think, with four six-volt batteries and a bigger inverter system and stuff, and that's a little bit of that stuff over there. You have your electric box with breakers and fuses down there. I know I'm probably getting into a whole lot of detail. Some of you don't want to know, but if you're actually wanting to buy one, you're probably going to want to know some of this stuff. Um, little uh, thing to do with the satellite box. This customer ordered theirs with the satellite box. You got little coat hooks up here as well. Beautiful heavy duty doors. You got a little release latch here, allowing the door to slide over and latch back into place. But a nice little setup there. I do like these uh, little latching systems here. Stepping up into your bedroom here, you have some overhead cabinets above your bed space there. So again, trying to maximize that storage. Window on each side do open. The bed will raise up, so there's a lot of storage underneath of that bed right there. Over here, you're gonna have a little bit of storage space here on each side of the bed and a little shelf space. And also on the left side here, you have another wireless charging port. It's kind of looking up here again, whisper quiet AC returns up here. And then this customer ordered it with the bedroom turbo exhaust fan as well. Plenty of room up here to maneuver around, get up in the morning, get dressed. Pretty comfortable setup here. You have another slide out over here. Six dresser drawers. You have that matching insignia TV over there. Some fan controls, more light controls, window opens. Now over here, we're gonna have the master bath area. Lots of room in this thing here. But you have three drawers down the middle, some storage on each side, a dual vanity set up here, large medicine cabinets as well, and some storage over there on the left for your linens and towels and stuff.
Now here you're gonna have the one-piece fiberglass shower with the glass enclosure. You do have an adjustable shower bar as well. You got a skylight up above and their skylight also has a little pull across shade there as well. Just to uh, try to help keep the RV cooler if you're stuck out in the sun. These shelves, by the way, are adjustable in some parts of the RV. Here, you're gonna have a slide across door here that does have the little built-in mirrors. Let's step back and check that out for you. And a little latch down there to latch it in place. Over here, you got a little hanging area, some shelf space. There's an electric outlet in here as well. Now this customer ordered it with the safe feature also. That's a cool thing to have. You have four drawers, again, full extending ball bearing drawer kind of drawers. Beautiful large bathroom area here. This one is a little bit fancier toilet here. You do have the porcelain bowl, the nicer lid, but it's also what they refer to as a macerator toilet as well. Uh, so a little bit uh, fancier on the toilet here as well. All right, we're gonna head back outside. I wanna show you guys around the outside of the RV, show you what this thing is all about. But one more quick thing, it does have that little pull down shade right there in that window, pretty cool. Most of them you have to order that aftermarket. All right, let's bounce out to the outside. We'll be right back. All right, we're back on the outside of the brand new 2024 Mobile Suites 39 DBRS. And we're gonna spin through the outside real quick. Um, Kind of interrupting my service people here so i just want to uh, kind of run over some basics so first off this is one of the available full body paint versions you have some led light strips built into the front you also have some lower lights down here as well you have the more ride hitch pin box really nice upgrade there this customer ordered it with four batteries instead of the standard two and a larger inverter so you can kind of see what that looks like there area here for a generator if you wanted to do that. You'll also notice that front underhang is a really nice heavy duty molded one piece fiberglass, not a multi-piece thin layer. You have security light up there, power awning, LED light strip built in close to the body of the RV, and it also has that metal protective wrap. Now this customer ordered it with the elite package but wanted a mobile suite paint job. So you got the fiberglass exterior, you got the painted matching sides of the slide, part of that Elite package. Um, typically, if you do the Elite paint, you also get the window silks, but because he wanted the regular paint, it did not come with the window silks. And there's a couple other things, part of that Elite package, like those power uh, shades you seen when we were inside, and some more info I'll put in the bottom, down in the description. So we have a gas line hookup down here. You have that six point automatic hydraulic leveling jack system. Also ordered with that more ride slide tray right there, nice feature. Some in command controls here, electric outlets, some motion lights. Quite a few things in there. So you can uh, slide those doors open, access some of your plumbing and things like that. Electric outlet, door latch here, midship turn signal right here. Furnace is actually the furnace cover painted to match. That's kind of nice as well. This was ordered with that heavy duty more ride entrance step. You also have that touch keypad window in your entry door. Another security light up above that door there. 
and that's one of the cameras. This was ordered with the 270 uh, camera system. So you have one on each side and one on the back, kind of giving you a bird's eye view looking down on your RV. Aluminum wheels, uh, Kodak disc brakes, the More Ride fancy independent suspension system. You can see an image of that popping up there. Also, when you do the Elite package, it comes with these fiberglass fender flares and stuff. So it's not a aluminum with a plastic fender cover on it. That is actually a fiberglass setup. So again, a little bit more expensive, a little fancier when you go with that Elite package. Little advertisement there on that three-year limited structural warranty. You have another slide out awning here that he ordered as well and a slide out awning topper also up there. Frameless dual pane looking windows there. Little TV was ordered with this one and also the little radio down there as well. Nice thick heavy duty baggage doors here. Beautiful setup. Little storage door area back here. Just trying to maximize your storage space. One piece fiberglass rear end, kind of gives it that motorhome look. You have a towing hitch down there on the bottom, rated for 3,000 pounds with a 300 pound tongue rating. You also have a seven way Bargman wiring plug back here as well. You have reverse lights. A lot of fifth wheels do not have reverse lights. It is prepped up top there for that Lippert portable stow and go ladder. It has a 330 pound rating on it. So it's heavier duty than the 250 pound rated RV ladders you normally find. And you can basically telescope it up, hook it on, take it down, throw it in your compartment, not have to worry about some kid climbing up there and getting hurt. Also ordered with the powered power cord reel you can see right there. Another security light up there as well. Stove exhaust vent over here. Just kind of look down below here. You got your spare tire underneath the bottom there. Nicely enclosed underbelly as well. Now this little access door is pretty smart. This is to the back of the refrigerator. So you can get in here and check your uh, ice maker lines, your electric, do some maintenance that you might need to do, winterization type of stuff. Another little storage area right there, the on-demand water heater right there as well. You have the dryer venting out, that other uh, camera up top there, if you do that nice camera option. Slide toppers up there as well. And then you're gonna have your little docking station area right here. So there's a motion light in here, but you have your water control valves, dumping, black tank flushes, outside uh, cold water spray port as well. Dump area right down there. The other side of your storage compartment area here. You do have a little touch pad thing here for your controls. And you also have Another light switch there for some cap lights. This is pretty cool. When this slides open, you have your water manifold system, your disc brake reservoir right there, and then you also have um, the uh, copper water manifold system here as well. Really nice, allowing you to turn on and off individual water lines. Water pump also right back there. So a lot of things are easy to get to for your normal maintenance type of stuff. Right here, you have your gas bottle area, two 40 pound propane tanks on a pull out tray that'll slide out. Some instructions on your jacks. Now we have some informational stickers right here. This first one um, is the gross vehicle weight sticker or uh, your production date sticker basically, telling you the date of production. Uh, we're gonna pop this up so you can read that. The next one popping up is going to be your unloaded vehicle weight sticker, kind of telling you what the RV weighed when it rolled off the factory assembly line. 
Next is your cargo carrying capacity sticker, telling you how much gear you can load into the RV. And last but not least, tire sticker, again, telling you how much uh, air pressure and stuff to keep in your tires along with your tire sizes and everything. Just standing back here, looking down the whole side, a beautiful, beautiful setup here. Love this paint job. And you have another uh, security light on that corner as well. Just a really, really nice, high quality, full-time rated fifth wheel here. Thanks again, guys, for taking the time to watch my RV videos. I really do appreciate it. Please be sure to check out the folks at Couches RV Nation, one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country. We'll definitely save you a ton of money on a new RV. Thanks again.